boys and girls. Today we're going to talk about animal and plant defenses. Lesson 2.7, Explaining Defenses. In Activity 1, we are going to explain a defense in the book, Spikes, Spines, and Shells. We have been working as aquarium scientists to learn about animal and plant defenses. And we are investigating this question. How do animals and plants defend themselves? We used a model, remember? Models helped us figure out that animals and plants can defend themselves using shells, spikes, and camouflage. We use these words to explain how animals and plants survive. Now we can use the words to explain how they use their structures to defend themselves. We will use our notebooks to write about how animals and plants defend themselves. I will read the directions for you. If you don't have your notebook, that's okay. You can use a piece of paper. I have a writing planner for us to use. It says, writing planner explaining animal and plant defenses. Directions. One, draw a living thing in the box. Two, circle the words for the living thing's defense and how the defense is used. Three, write the name of the living thing and the words you circled to complete the sentence. We are going to use this to think about a living thing from a book we've read. So first, I'll find a living thing to write about. I want to write about the lava lizard. I can see in the contents that the lava lizard has information on page eight. Here's page eight. It says, Lava lizards, what are they? Lava lizards are small animals with scales. They live on rocks and sand near the sea. I need to choose which defense to circle on my writing planner sheet. What defense does the lava lizard use to survive? Hmm. I don't think it's shells or spikes. So I circled camouflage. Remember camouflage means that an object blends into something else. Don't you think that the lizard is blending into the rock a little bit? I do. So on my writing planner, I drew a lava lizard and circled the word camouflage. Now I need to think about how camouflage is used. What does the lava lizard use camouflage to do? Hmm. I think that it tries not to be found. Not be found. So that's what I circled. The other things say not be caught, not be broken into pieces, not be eaten. And I think not be found is the most correct. So that's what I circled. Look at that. The top of the book shows me how to write the name lava lizard. So now I know how to spell it. I can write my sentence now. Down here I wrote the lava lizard. 
can survive because it uses, here's where I wrote camouflage, to, and here's where I write not be found. So let me read that one more time. The lava lizard can survive because it uses camouflage to not be found. Now in my notebook page, on page six, I can carefully copy my sentence onto the lines. So here's where I wrote it. The lava lizard can survive because it uses camouflage to not be found. Now it's your turn. If you have not thought of an animal you want to write about, you can use the next slide to listen to the story over again.